Hi everybody, this is Christy. I am the Intimate Warrior. I thank you so much for stopping by and as always, I send you love. There's a lot that I want to talk about, but today I'm going to stick with this upcoming full moon energy that we will be experiencing on May the 26th in the sign of Sagittarius. Now, this is not going to be any full moon. It's going to be a combination of a full moon, a flower moon, a super moon, and a total lunar eclipse. So what can this energy feel like? It can feel like you're living within the twilight zone. <laughs> I find that kind of hilarious because things have been a little weird here for a couple of days already. And today is the 21st. So we still have a few days until this total lunar eclipse, super full moon total lunar eclipse takes place. And um, I want you to understand that this is a series of eclipses that we will be experiencing. We have four eclipses, two solar eclipses, and two lunar eclipses coming up after this one. But let's go ahead and just kind of dissect this a little bit. Now, I don't want to worry you too much in saying that it may feel like the Twilight Zone. It's just going to be very strange energy. Very like, what in the world is taking place here? Are you serious type of energy? But I don't feel like it's going to be the type of energy that is um, like scary or terrifying. Just really, really weird really weird but this eclipse this full moon eclipse is really about honestly if you were to take if God had honestly put his God's hand was right here in the center of this universe and shifting everything around So if God were to put God's hand in your life right now and move and change and alter certain aspects of your life, that's what's going to take place. So as if God is reaching his hand, God's hand <laughs> down from the heavens and is putting you where you need to be. Putting you where you need to be. Which we all know that when it's time for something to get done, when it's time for change, it can get very uncomfortable. Especially when it's kind of, it seems as if it's being forced. But in order to grow really, we have to really stretch. We have to stretch. And stretching can be very uncomfortable. It can be very painful for certain people who have never stretched a day in their life. But the good thing, good thing about this full moon eclipse is that it's an energy that you can trust. And that's why it's not terrifying to be within this twilight zone. It's just weird. Because you are still going to have a sense of, all right, I'm seeing this is a definite change, and I welcome in this definite change. This is always this is also a time when huge reflection should be made. Who should you forgive? What should you let go of? And 
This is really about embracing change and honoring the cycles of life. Ordinarily, a full moon is about completion. But because it is combined with a supermoon and combined with a eclipse, it's not necessarily going to feel as if things are coming to a close. Or it may feel as if multiple things are coming to an abrupt stop stop stopping point and this is also a time where i don't think we should be really making drastic decisions based on what we should be doing this is a, a great time to really go within yourself and and see what is really not benefiting you in your life any longer and kind of take this time um, and to make those decisions. Don't be haste in regards to change, but be aware of the change. This is a this lunar eclipse can feel like a, a final purge. Or a cleansing of an emotional cycle. And so, what can you really expect during this full moon eclipse combination? Lots of emotions. Increased intuitions, a little bit of complications, depending on your current mental state, your perspective. There can be a lot of beginnings, a lot of endings. A lot of um, a sense of the slate is being cleaned, wiped clean, clean, excuse me. Um, during this full moon eclipse, like I said, I don't think we should really. Although the eclipse season in this energy is going to be with us until kind of next year, because we have four more eclipse eclipses um, approaching after this one, or four total, um, we the you may get to a point of wanting to really make a decision out of hasteness. Don't oh, don't. It's important to reflect within yourself and kind of talk yourself down. If you are feeling overwhelmed, angered, and are trying to make these decisions based out of anger, that's what I'm, I'm asking you to kind of step back. Try not to make a decision during this time frame when the emotions or emotions can be heightened because we are purifying a little bit more. We are trying to clean the slate a little bit more, which is a type of purging. Intense purging is going to um, be taking place during this time. But if you are at a state of calmness and readiness, making decisions, having change appear, new beginnings appear, can be definitely be a blessing and can definitely be exactly what you know the universe is trying to put into your reality right now. You're the only one who can really decide if you are in the right frame of mind, right frame of emotion, and ready 
to make these decisions. You know, when we are dealing with lots of change, being pressed for lots of change, because the energy is so intense and kind of and very amplified, we can feel a little bit more pressed. The combination of the universe, God, source, your higher self, trying to really make you see the necessary changes before you can make you feel as if you are complete but that you are extremely empty at the same time. Does that make sense? Because everything is pressing and pressing. When the, you know, it's like what I am trying to explain to you, and I guess this is a great time to go ahead and, and put this into this video. I was going to make a separate video, but I'm going to go ahead and just talk about it. Because it kind of implies with this, full moon eclipse combination, how you probably can feel. When we are trying to integrate the Antikorana, this is a choice. This is not a test. We choose to fully embody ourselves, to integrate our higher self for a greater purpose no longer serving our own will or our own lives. We are serving the universe. You make that choice yourself. But what has to take place is a unification. It's like when you're trying to push dough into a can, a smaller can. It can be really tight, restricting, and I hope that is a <laughs> an analogy that someone can. You can envision it. A big ball of dough trying to go into a smaller cylinder, like a pipe. It barely wants to get into that area without lots of pressure. It's that stretching. It's that intense purging of whatever is lingering that doesn't really belong there, that doesn't belong there, that has been taking up too much space within your physical form that isn't allowing your spiritual bodies to fully fit within and make up your entire Merkaba. So what you can be feeling now on top of these emotions of feeling complete but feeling empty feeling as if loose ends must be tied before you can move forward are physical symptoms of stretching. The hips. Your shoulders. Your knees. Your feet. Of course, having crown pressure, headache sensations, um, ear popping noises, um, pressure everywhere, almost as if you may want to explode. Things are coming into alignment, some way, shape, or form, whatever type of level, wherever you are, beginning, middle, end, and then, then some, still more to come. You are having a sense of completion, yet emptiness. Something is moving away, something is letting go, but something is coming in simultaneously.
You know, for example, with when the unification of, let's see if I can make this make more sense to you. When Moses, when Moses' staff ate the other two serpents, it all became a unified pillar, a unified staff, one staff. What that was, and I, I know I've said this in um, another video before, is that the Kundalini ate the other two Nadis, the Ida and the Pingala, unifying into one central column, creating the center, the central pillar, creating the, or um, also unifying the silver cord. So that the Antikarana can be embedded, bridged, unifying the spiritual bodies into your physical form. So you can feel the left side of your body or the right side of the body or both sides of your body can be, can have a, a symptom of Maybe your muscles feels like they're being pulled. Maybe they're very tight and you're restricted right now. Maybe you've had headaches recently. Maybe you are also purging um, through the the stomach. You know whether whether you're vomiting or other issues, stomach issues, because the the vagus nerve here which is acting also like the center pillar associated with the silver cord. It is the tree of life. It is the nerve that gives and sends the signal continuously throughout your body from your crown into your root. Unifies. In order for the vagus nerve to fully function properly, it's bringing unification between the nadis, the flow. Every single pathway must be cleared in order for the Andakarana, in order for the full embodiment, in order for full understanding of who you are and what your purpose is. So when I was experiencing the crown pressure for a few days, almost um, migraine type of sensations on my right side. Usually I have it in the past. I've had it on the left side, but also sometimes in my extreme past, 10 years ago or so, it was more, it was also on the right side. But those are the left and the right side of the brain are syncing up. The left eye works with the right side of the brain. The right eye works with the left side of the brain and the nadis it goes down, of course, into the the nadis um, intersect. Keep going back and forth. You know how it works. Back and forth. But unifying, eventually making unification, um, togetherness. So I wanted to give you that understanding that now that I don't have um, any crown pressure, I don't have any sensation any longer, it is now has moved down into um, my shoulder blades and is trying to clear a path further down into um, and I can feel this. This is something that I am really asking for you guys to to do for yourself. Be aware of how you feel. Your own awareness of what is taking place within you and you finding understanding leads to personal self discovery and will take you to full embodiment. If you are an individual that cannot find understanding as to anything that you are going through, you're going through the motions and that's all you're doing. And you're probably in that ungratefulness stage, still, complaining about what you're going through. 
which is only going to reflect back again what you are experiencing in your life. Negative for negative, positive for positive. If you are having an experience or a symptom that you just don't like, one, you also don't understand it again either, then there's it's giving you an opportunity to find a solution and a way out of it. When you feel depressed, you're, you have an option to find peace. When you are feeling pain, discomfort, you are giving an option to not feel that way and to become free and have health and full life. If you are full of anger, you are giving an option to feel full love. At every single moment of our lives, we have a chance by choosing where we are going to reside at. One can rule only negative or positive, good or bad, fear or love. One will be stronger than the other. And you have to choose that which one you believe in. This is Christy. Much love, health, and healing your way. I am bringing purpose to your life. Take care.